Hi, my name is Andrei Badrov. Until recent time, I was a motorcycle instructor for Russian Advanced Riding School, MotoControl.ru. Now, I run from Moscow to Buenos Aires, so technically I am just a private motorcycle instructor, without any school, I guess. Uh, but anyways, I brought a lot of my tutorial videos with me, so why not practice my English and uh, make some useful content out of it? Let's talk about heavy cruiser and touring bikes today. I'll try to point out three mistakes or problems uh, which are pretty common amongst people who bought their heavy bike as a first bike or bought it right after riding small motorcycle, right, like uh, 300cc or so. Uh, which problems we face uh, with heavy bikes and how we can resolve them. First, let's address the elephant in the room – weight. It's obvious enough that heavy cruisers and tourers weigh significantly more than their less chubby counterparts. And if sometimes uh, when riding your smaller like uh, 2, 3, 4, 500 cc bike, uh, you can maybe rely on dabbing your foot or something like that, uh, you just can't do it uh, on 8-9 uh, pound monsters, unless you are an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, so instead of relying on your feet uh, to stabilize your bike, you should really develop a good clutch control skills. I have a whole big video about clutch control, but really uh, you can boil it down uh, to the main idea. On slow speed maneuvers, keep your throttle slightly open to have some power at your disposal and regulate this power with your clutch. If at any moment you feel that uh, your bike is tipping over, just release the clutch a little and your bike will immediately stand up. Don't try to push your feet against the pavement uh, to make the bike straight. Your legs are probably not designed uh, for half a ton of added weight. Uh, besides, uh, on a cruiser or tourer, you can easily catch your foot under a muffler or saddlebag. I did that once and I can officially state that it was not a very pleasant experience. Long story short, don't stick your legs out while riding a cruiser or a tourer. It's never a good idea and it never works. This is one of uh, the most uh, common beginner mistakes. Instead, become familiar with your throttle and clutch. It will help you a great deal. Now let's move on to a second big problem with cruisers. Lean angle or the lack of it, uh, to be specific. As we all know, on higher speeds, motorcycle lean angle pretty much dictates the cornering speed. The more you lean, the faster you can take on uh, any given corner. Cruiser bikes uh, were never designed to corner very fast. Instead, they were designed to comfy upright body position. Uh, so, a lot of stuff, such mufflers and platforms, usually hangs down pretty low. It's not a very big problem for this type of bikes, uh, because usually people don't buy them to ride on track super fast. But if you are coming to a cruiser uh, from a lot more nimble bike with great ground clearance, uh, you can be surprised how little you can lean on this thing. Don't rush it in the corners at first. Instead, it's better to get a hang of its uh, capabilities at low speeds on the parking lot. Make some circles and figure eights and pretty soon you'll know its leaning limits. Uh, this way you won't be suddenly surprised and won't run wild uh, on a winding road. Uh, one more thing about low grind clearance. Uh, you may have heard about counterbalancing technique. It's when you put your body weight outside of the turn. This way you increase your bike's lean angle. It's useful sometimes in low speed turns, uh, when you try to make your turn as sharp as possible. Uh, even on low speeds, it's not always mandatory. Uh, as a rule of thumb, on uh, slow speeds uh, you usually need counterbalancing only when you are going with uh, fully turned handlebars. However, a lot of people use this technique on higher speeds too. Yes, you can use it occasionally to swerve around something or to look further in the, the blind corner, uh, but you don't have to use it every single time, especially on cruiser bike. Counterbalancing uh, further reduces ground clearance, which is not so great to begin with. Uh, so on higher speeds, by counterbalancing, uh, you just reduce your available speed, that's all.
Counterbalancing should be conscious decision. You should be able to use it when it's necessary and you should be able not to use it when it doesn't benefit you. Ok, moving on to the third common beginner cruiser rider problem – full lock turning. Cruisers and turners are usually surprisingly maneuverable for their size, uh, thanks to the fact that they have a huge lock-to-lock -lock handlebar turning angle. And any cruiser rider should be able to fully benefit from this. So it's a shame that so many people are afraid to take on full lock turns. You only need two things to successfully make a full lock turn. First, you need a good clutch control. Yeah, clutch again, I know. Uh, keep your throttle slightly opened and use your clutch to change your bike's speed. Pull it a little to slow down, release it a little to gain speed. Now start making a big circle. Try to relax your arms, don't try to steer. And now the second thing. Try to pull in the clutch a little to gradually slow your bike down. As the bike slows down, notice that the front wheel automatically turns itself more into the turn. And when you release the clutch and start to gain speed, your front wheel straights more and more. And during this you don't need to steer, everything just happens by itself. From this point just try to slow down more and more while you in turn. Eventually your handlebars will turn full lock. At this point you'll have to balance your bike with the clutch, release it a bit if your bike is falling down and pull it in a little bit if it wants to go straight too much. Uh, once you get used to riding in full lock, you'll immensely increase your maneuverability. And once you are able to ride in full lock, you'll hardly ever just drop your bike on a slow speed. Uh, you'll probably automatically catch it with the clutch. So I think that's it, my three quick tips for cruiser riders. Be very familiar with your clutch, be able to make a full lock turns and don't hurry too much in the high speed corners. And don't always use counterbalancing, use it uh, only when it's beneficial. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Adios!